Where's everybody from? Like, you know, originally and stuff. Originally. But I'm from here. One of the five people from born, Austin. Yeah. Yeah, born at St. David's. Right. Nobody's from Austin in Austin. Richmond, Texas. I was born in Houston, Texas, but I'm from Richmond, Texas. Lived all over uh, Austin, New Braunfels. I lived in College Station for a while. Call New Braunfels home now, but now I just kind of live wherever I'm at, you know? So. I live in a bar. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so it's only great. places where it's warm, basically. Yeah. I can't do the cold. You have a great voice, by the way. Thank you. Like, very Western. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like like, I feel like I'm sitting across from a cowboy, for real. Like but I'm... you might be one. I don't know. Well, you know, yeah. let your mind wander, friend. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. I grew up in uh, Dean Martin's hometown, yeah. Steubenville, Ohio. Sweet. Where gangsters and, you know, mobsters ran around and Dino... Dino grew up there, and uh, as soon as he he never came back ever. Right when he left. Not to visit, not not on Dean Martin Day. <laughs> 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 never, <laughs> never showed up again. But, uh, Did they like put him on the water tower and stuff? No, they they, they named the boulevard after him, and the, and it has his face on the street sign. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in fact, I guess in the early days that. The clubs in Pittsburgh closed down on Sunday. They had a blue law there in, in Pennsylvania. Sure. So the acts would play in Steubenville downtown. Mm -hmm. Like so there were a lot of a lot of clubs and you know, like I said, gambling. Churches, a lot of churches. <laughs> hand to, hand. to you know, balance. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? Well, I cool. was born at the um, Santa Chiara Hospital in Firenze, right on. Firenze, Italia, Florence. Yeah. Um, moved here seven years ago. It'll be seven years in August. So, I'm hmm. born and raised in Florence. I try to maintain my bicontinental life yeah. as much as I can. Uh, I spend most of my time here in the States, yeah. but uh, I go back to Italy. Uh, my whole family is there, so I'm going right. in August and spending a month there. I, I now I started making my own sourdough bread, and I love it. I have the starter in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Its name is Linda, by the way. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's like I having a pet. A piece of Linda. <laughs> <laughs> because you have my to feed it. My starters, I think, is. Mm, not you have so to good. feed it, otherwise it dies. So yeah, it yeah. becomes this this Culture living thing, yeah. being, and so I named it Linda. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Linda gives good bread. Yeah. Uh, do you shoot for like an Italian bread dish recipe? I mean, I, I'm not even sure if Italian bread in, in Florence is like Italian bread in the States. Oh, no, it's not. No. No. But for one thing in Florence, so they don't salt the bread. No. Well, because That's everything else is so salty. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the way we cook and yeah. all the prosciutto and the, the stews right, and, right, and the, right, right. It, it's all not salty, but it has a lot of flavor. But so, doesn't it have you know, more a, a, like a like a like a historical reference, like like the, the salt mines and things like that? They were protesting, so they like they were getting taxed extra on salt, so they stopped using salt. Oh yeah, well, on purpose. Right. Okay. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah. Gosh, I, I'm, I'm embarrassed now because I should know all this I, stuff. I, yeah, so but, but like it a, is true, yeah. and it was probably coming from uh, from the coast. Yeah, from Pisa and Livorno. So the bread's more just like a vessel yeah. for the food to get to your face. Yeah, a platform to put your other foods on. A platform. Yeah. <laughs> Got to put it on something, man. Yeah. I didn't ever get a, a hint of. Italian culture in Texas. Yeah. I don't ever, I mean, except for <clears throat> Julia, I don't, I don't exactly. really see it around yeah. very much. Yeah, growing up, I didn't know any Italians. I mean, I didn't, you know, just yeah. the family, you know, and then you go out, you know, I think I met one Italian kid in high school, you know, like for some area competition, like one of those UIL things, you know? Yeah. John Benefati, and it was like such a novelty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so then, you know, Whoa. it's like all that Italian culture that I co-opted from, you know, from TV and whatever, you know, movies and all that, you know, obviously, yes. you know, I got it from my family to a certain extent, but, you know, then all of a sudden it's like, hey, Paisan, you know, and we just ran around and chummed about because like we were the only two Italian kids oh, I'm gonna get it. that we knew. 
you yeah. know. But yeah, it's like an island down here. You know, my family. They came in at Ellis. They got as far as Philly. Right. And then, oh wow! Yeah, I'm a third generation. So my great grandparents, you know, they were in Philly, and um, but then my granddad got in the Air Force, and you know, ended wow. up they, here. Military, to you know, sense. yeah, and that's that's how we got here. But yeah, I mean, there wasn't. I mean, yeah, outside of the house, man, it was only Olive Garden. For real? You know, I mean, I went. That, that, yeah, I know. <clears throat> yeah, it's sad. We would find that one like there's always Olive Garden, but you like we were lucky enough to be able to. It's like, they're, they're few and far between, but usually in towns there's one. Like one really good Italian place, but nobody knows about it. But then you go there and you're just like super home. Like it, everything is comfortable and Seriously, delicious. Seriously, the, the yeah. Albanians in Texas have saved me more yeah. than one time. Like they have the only like kind of decent, even like, close to anything I grew up with. Like Mediterranean. Where yeah. did you find Albanian? Uh, like in in in, in, in DFW, there's like called oh, Joe's Pizzas, okay. and okay. but they're all kind of all through yeah. it. You know, there's this town in. I guess I guess it was in Oklahoma now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Think. But it supposedly had like really great Italian restaurants. So I stopped there with a friend and. Oh uh, yeah. No, it was terrible. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what place like, you're talking about. Man, I'm not these a people fan. don't know a thing about cooking Italian food. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So it's. Uh, man, I'm wondering how that evolved, like, because uh, that was a like a coal mining community. Was it? You know. Yeah. So. And I wonder if they were subject to the same sorts of uh, food constraints. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That everybody else had. I mean, things like, you know, chicken fried steaks and all this kind of frontier food, biscuits and gravy and stuff. It's all very simple, ironically, like Italian food. But, yeah. you know, it's just kind of due to what they had on hand. And, and I thought the same thing about the food there. It was like, eh. Yeah. But it might be its own kind of thing, you know, like its own subculture. Possibly, I, I think it is. I mean, it, they're kind of known for having Italian restaurants and stuff. Yeah. Uh, how do you survive? Because, you know, like, food in Florence is wonderful. And, sure. it's, just, um, and it's totally different even than Amer Italian American stuff, right? I don't I don't go to restaurants. Yeah, like every It makes me so fucking mad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to spend money for something that I can make better at home. Right, that's my oh, man. So my when I go to restaurants, I go to restaurants and eat something that I wouldn't make on my own, like Indian food or sushi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice uh, food. But, you know, I have a, a pasta maker, I have hmm. an ice cream maker, I have yeah. linda in my fridge, <laughs> and so I, I, make, I make my own food. And yeah. um, Why don't we do this at her house? I know, right? right? Yeah. Because yeah. it's small, but we can. Excellent. Um, excellent. Well, Michael is an excellent cook. We, 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 cook we both... Together. Yeah, we cook together. Yeah, See, that's funny because uh, I love that 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 day we, we we got together. Sorry, you have a little. Oh, okay. We got together. I'm sorry, and, <laughs> and we uh, we were making ravioli, and and I got there in the afternoon, and and we had a drink, <laughs> like a yeah. like a spritz type thing, uh -huh. and we started making ravioli. We made an insane amount of yeah, ravioli. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. They were, yeah. <laughs> they were very good. And, yeah. And that was a fine. That was fun. Yeah. We should do it again. Yeah. So. Well, it's just interesting with the culture and everything. Like, I would love to be able to make all these things. And my, my papa, he's the one that came over on the boat. He could and still does from time to time. But that being said, me being me, my generation, living in Texas, I can make a brisket. Yeah, nobody's right. business. You know, like, I bet yeah. you can. Sit there and make ribeye and do all that stuff. But I'd like to be able to do the noodles and all this stuff. Like, he'd sit there and make his own fettuccine. And it was, yeah. Oh, it's the best. But it was kind of like when they, when they came over yeah. kind of thing. Like we'd have his homemade noodles with his homemade sauces, but then also there'd be nice. We just had you know, spaghetti from the store with Brago, you know, and it's yeah. still good, but it's not like like his was kind of thing. No, but I mean, it's just interesting the whole. It, yeah, and sometimes it's any port in a storm. Yeah, when I exactly. was bacheloring and learning how to cook, I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes you know I just get home late. I get you know whatever. I throw throw some. Frozen tortellinis or raviolis and a thing yeah. and a can of, you know, whatever. I went to Rome once and uh, it was pretty eye opening as far as like what we eat here and there. And, you know, it was <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, me and my me and my ex old lady, she we uh, booked these trips like, you know, we we plan on going back. So we were going to, you know, do the touristy stuff this time, find the local haunts and then make sure to come back again and you know, do it how we want to do it. And the best thing we did 
the, I mean, we saw we saw the Vatican, we saw Coliseum, we did, we did all the ruins. It was beautiful. It was yeah. great. The best thing we did the whole time was actually our last day in Europe in general because we flew out the next day was a food and wine tour of Rome, and they had this tour guide. And she took us to all these places. You had prosciutto, uh, salami, salamis, uh, all sorts of different wines, uh, gnocchi. We had pizza from like just, uh, you know, they said it was voted number one pizza in Rome, which, you know, sounds <laughs> like it could be a hokey thing, but it was so good. <laughs> and like the difference between the two, like how long they let their dough sit out and like yeah, how yeah. airy it is. Like, you know, you can order a Domino's or Papa John's or something here and eat it and like, okay, it's pizza. I love to eat pizza. Sure. But then you feel just like heavy and Ugh. afterwards. You eat everything there was by the slice and you'd eat it and it was just light and airy and you, you could. Yeah. Eat stuff and just still go walk around and do things. Like it was weird to be able to actually feel the difference in the, eating the same food somewhere else. Right. The pepperoni doesn't give you odd shit. Uh, you know. So good. Like, uh, there's a, a craft to, to preparing food mm -hmm. you know, there, and in Europe in general, really. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not uh, quite the same in the states, I guess. Yeah. Um, You're that 100. Do, do you have like, do you have like a gravy recipe or anything from? Man, I would have to, I'd have to look, that stuff. like, in some old recipe books that, like, Maya had. Like I said, she's probably got all that information. Like, I didn't learn, I didn't learn nothing. Like, <laughs> I really didn't. You know, after, after Grandma, you know, got old, man, she just kind of started phoning it in, which is understandable. I mean, yeah. you know, when you're like 85, 89 years yeah, old, it's yeah, like, yeah, hey, you know, I'm too tired to cook. Somebody else take over. But nobody did, you know. It's kind of like, all right, we're gonna just do something easy. So it, it turned into like, seriously, like frozen lasagnas sure, sure, for dinner, sure. and that, you know, it's just absolutely not the same thing. So yeah, I didn't learn. Like I said, I learned, I learned most of my Italian stuff off the internet. Yeah. So the day that my grandmother hung up her pots and pans, I think God cried. <laughs> I know I did. It's a terrible thing. Yeah. What do you mean she hung them up? She oh, stopped. Well, she got one of those yeah, islands in the kitchen to hang up. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> she got a real, she got a shelf. Uh, no, no, she couldn't reach it. She didn't announce it. Nah, she's older now. You know, she kind of a few years ago she kind of stopped cooking. Yeah. And and now everybody is scrambling for recipes mm -hmm. for everything. That's a coveted thing. You know. Yeah. Clean gravy. Yeah. The aforementioned gravy. gravy. The aforementioned you guys gravy. got nicknames for everything, don't you? <laughs> it's Philly. Like, how do you say prosciutto? Prosciutto. How do you say prosciutto? Prosciutto. Right? Yeah. Ridiculous. Prosciutto. prosciutto. That might be Calabrese. Uh, that's, that's, it is yeah. Calabrese. That's, that's, a di that, that, that's yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a dialect, an Italian dialect. That's over there by uh, Sicily, right? A little, little. It's like Sicily. Oh, no, it's. Oh, it's at the end of the book. Calabrese. Calabrese. Calabrese is on the other, yeah, like south of Rome. Hmm. Well, it's the it's the part of it's the it's the foot. The foot. Yeah. Toe. Like, Pula yeah. is the the, yeah. the heel. <laughs> right. Pula. It's Pula. The, Pula. It, that's the heel. <laughs> if Italy was and a, Calabria is the. <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm doing Calabria. You know. He's trying to be a, a map. It's like this. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, but I got it. Like right I should do that's it. The wrong yeah. Yeah. That's the wrong yeah. 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 Thank you. Look at those right. shoes. I love those shoes. This, yeah, is, this is Calabria, and this is Puglia. This is Sicilia. Sicilia. Yeah. And yeah. Sardinia is right here, and then France, yeah. and then we don't want to know anymore. <laughs> it's, not, it's not Italy anymore. There you go. Sardinia is Italy, right? Technically? Si. Right now. Yeah. Uh, but Corsica is France. Corsica, yeah. Even though they're right next to each other. Yeah. And, and neither of them speak a language that I could even... Oh, make. no, the course language oh is God. really weird. It's it, a mixture of, of it, the Sardinian dialect and French. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's right. really... Yeah, yeah. You, as an Italian, I can understand a little bit, like I can make sense. I was there for two weeks once. Oh, cool. I destroyed my little panda, my little car. That, <laughs> that was the end oh. of it. I just... <laughs> I buried it after well, after that vacation. As an Italian, how hard was it for you to learn English? Or have you just always spoke? Well, uh, um, English is mandatory in school. Oh, okay. And, wow. uh, and so we started pretty early, but it's mostly grammar. Mm -hmm. um, but also, my parents were... My, my father used to travel a lot. In fact, the first couple of times I came to the States was with him because he was a professor at the university and so he would come to the States for conferences and symposiums. Um, 
but also my my parents were were into music, so I grew up listening to a lot of vinyls mm -hmm. of American and English ah, music. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you know, I was a kid, and there was no internet, and uh, and I started uh, writing writing down the lyrics, just mm -hmm. listening. Right. Yeah. And when there was a word that I didn't know what it was, I would grab the dictionary mm -hmm. and just, you know, uh -oh. browse the dictionary looking for a word that was, you know... What you thought, what, what you wrote down. Yeah. Close enough in the sound and would make sense with the meaning. It was a lot of work, but that's how I got a lot of English. You know, it's indicative, you know, my grandfather was named Bartholomew. Not Bartolomeo. But, uh, you know, they were like, uh, they wanted to assimilate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a completely yeah. different vibe, man. They didn't, you know, get into the, you know, Italian culture. They mm. don't really teach us anything about it. You know? Absolutely. I mean, they didn't, weren't trying to sweep it under the rug or anything. Mm -hmm. Obviously, around the dinner table, you know, it was full on. But yeah, we didn't really dwell on our Italian roots and, and yeah, the, the behavior patterns were more like, like you described, you know, in American I, I behavior. Get 100% yeah. They just wanted to, to get along and, and Plus, since we weren't around that culture, mm -hmm. being here, yeah. there was no way to reinforce it. I've always thought that was interesting, and it took me a while to understand this, because, mm -hmm. you know, when I moved to the States, people would be like, oh, you're Italian, I'm Italian too. And I would be like, what, what <laughs> no, do you mean? No, you're not. Part. You, you're you not speak Italian? Cheap. No. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> you were born and raised in America, so okay, your parents, your grandparents. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was <sighs> such a, such a, it's it's a pity. It's a shame that you know mm -hmm. you end up losing part of who you are. You know, like you, you don't speak Italian. You don't. There's only so much of your culture that, that you're bringing with you because your parents wanted to assimilate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, were, yeah. we were talking about this earlier, it's, it, but it's the whole dichotomy of the whole thing. It's like be proud of who you are and where you're from, but also it's America. We're Americans now. You know, right. so you have that sense of pride and everything. My mother would refer to Italy as her mother country, mm -hmm. and right. my sister Lisa would just flip out, like right. just be so mad at my mom not being American enough oh, wow. all the time. So right. there was always this, this really argument that continued on. I think my sure. sister was embarrassed. I, I, I right. can't speak for her, but sure. it felt like she was embarrassed for my parents' Italian. There was a yeah, time yeah. when yeah. it wasn't yeah. cool. I mean, Dean Martin changed yeah. his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. And that's why yeah. our family wanted to assimilate more. You know, yeah. now it's cool again, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't. So yeah, I can understand her perspective. You know, she didn't want to, she wanted to she Distance didn't want herself. my parents to be Italian, yes. you know, and until my mom, like, uh, my sister was asked to the prom by this very American boy, mm -hmm. right, <laughs> who was like the head of the class and all this, it's and cool. then it turned out he he called her up and said he couldn't take her. Because my sister was Italian, and her and his parents wouldn't Whoa. let her let him take an Italian girl. And, so yeah. and my mother got on yeah. the phone and just let, him. let the mom have it. Yeah. But, but why? What was the reason? Because, because she was are... like these, these people were like these prominent. Country club wasp. I, I'll tell you what the, the the cultural aspect of it never really clicked in my head too much until uh, I mean I'm from the generation where when they were doing school testing where they changed it uh, you know when you're filling out your you know who you are part of the whole thing is uh, uh, yeah. uh, a Latin American African American white other prefer not to say was when they was when right, they first started that, doing that, that and I was like yeah. well there is no Italian American. Uh, do I do do I do other do I do other or I do do I do white? And it was a weird thing. Like I, that's when it started clicking in my head. Like okay, you know, we all come from somewhere. Like it is America. It's a melting pot. You know <laughs> who am I? What am I? Am I Italian? Am I, I Texan? Like when, who? What do I yeah. do? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, never really figured it out. Here I am now. You know, still figuring it out. The yeah, like out here, that sort of cultural identity thing. It didn't a, exist. Yeah, which is weird because, like, 
being Italian in America is this, this kind of famous thing, you know, it's this kind of big deal. I mean, to us as Italians, in, 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 a, in a way for our identity personally, but, but to everybody else too, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I can't get away with uh, meeting anybody out here. You know. <laughs> Giovanni, what's that? You know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> spelling for that. Right. For the so first 18 years of my life, to. I went by Daniel, my middle name. Mm -hmm. Just, what? Yeah. Well, like, I mean, right. if you ask anybody from, like, my childhood, yeah, they still call me Daniel, like, and all that stuff. Because Vittorio is a great name. It is. Now. Yeah. But, it when is. You're, but when you're in fourth grade and, like, you know, Oh, Victoria. Victoria. Like, like, no, nobody could say it right. <laughs> it didn't make sense. So it was like. <laughs> it didn't make sense. It didn't. Yeah, it was yeah. like, okay, Daniel. Fine. Like, it, that, that'll work. And it's, it's I got an uncle, weird. Dan. It's okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> well, and that's, and that's where Rio comes from, his last three letters of Victoria. Yeah, and Rio. that's another big thing uh, about learning about where I came from in general. The first time I saw The Godfather and Don Vito. Is that yeah. Vito, like Victoria? It's like, yeah, okay. So. I got the same name as this badass. Like, uh, yeah, why yeah. am I not doing that? Well, Daniel's easier. White, white people can say it. I don't know how else to say that. Like, it's because that name gets butchered everywhere else. Totally. That and the last name. Yeah. I didn't tell people down here my name was Giovanni for a long time. Like, dudes especially. Because they gave me shit, you know. Well, like, Giovanni is like, oh, John. Yeah. You know, yeah. Right. But, like, so I'd, I'd go by yeah. Nooch or something. It was easier. Right. He, did you grow up in like in a real Italian culture? Like yeah. I grew up in a very yeah, yeah. Italian American culture. Same You, yeah. It, where I grew up, it was like, uh, uh, like the way Mexican culture is here. Yeah. It was like that. It yeah, was yeah. Italian restaurants on every single yeah, yeah, corner yeah, 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 of, yeah. of every street. You know, uh, uh, yeah, and just Italian people everywhere, and it was so transparent mm -hmm. and, and part of regular life and in the background, and nobody thought anything of it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I knew there was tons of people in, in school, in my classes and stuff, that had, you know, big, long, fancy names involving a lot of vowels, mm -hmm. and, and, and it wasn't a thing, you know? Uh, uh, and, and there was there was other guys, you know, there was one of my friends that was like, this African-American dude, but his name was Alfonso de Gregorio, you know? Awesome. There was, a, there was a tie in mm -hmm. somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. But it was, yeah, it was totally normal for, for that. I didn't have any of that. But right? All, like, we and had, I didn't know that. We had all this. We had Mexican food. We had barbecue joints. We had, like, all sorts of cultures of friends that I don't remember it, except for my buddy, like any other yeah, yeah. Italian aspect to the whole thing. Yeah. Um, Were yeah. there any Italian restaurants when you were growing up here? Oh, yeah. No. no. Nothing, nothing. It's, yeah, it was an island, man. It was a desert. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't nothing. You know, like I said, man, the only thing was Olive Garden. You know, you can roll your eyes again. I mean, that's all that was here. <laughs> so, so my great-grandparents were the same thing. They came over here to raise their families and all that stuff, but they made sure that nobody learned Italian. You know, that everybody had to Americanize and all that. They never learned English, really. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, my great-grandmother, Salvatrich, was who lived in like the, the, the top floor of the row home in Philly. And you had to like climb the mountain, you know, you had to go up three flights of stairs to go and see her. You know, she spoke barely a little bit of broken English and you know, she'd sit there and kind of instruct you and you're like, ah, yes, grandma, yes, you know. That's but, cute. Yeah, you know, <laughs> they taught us how to count. Honestly, I knew, a lot more Italian than I gave myself credit for back there because I didn't speak it fluently or anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, I knew, you know, I knew how to communicate, kind of. And then uh, living out here with nobody to talk to, you lose it. You know, mm -hmm. you, you yes. can't practice it. You totally mm -hmm. lose it. I don't even know how to count to 10 anymore. Well, Julia helped me, like, oh. trying to learn mm -hmm. Italian. But I, I still right. am, you know, right. not there. At all. But yeah, you're pretty good and you understand it. I understand pretty good and I, well, or, but, uh, you know, I, I, if I stop, I, I freeze basically because right. yeah. I can't have a conversation because my 
something is missing. Well, it takes a long time to yeah. get to a point yeah. where you can have a conversation. But mm -hmm. you know. I watch mm -hmm. shitty Italian movies <laughs> on Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Netflix. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Based on your advice, I'm like, that's okay. how I learned Spanish yeah. by yeah. watching mm -hmm. movies. Well, also yeah. I was living in Spain. Yeah. But yeah, I, I pretty much learned it in a couple of weeks by watching movies and mm -hmm. yeah. also Italian and Spanish. Yes, yeah. I've seen it pretty close. Oh, you really got to be immersed. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And, I, and I bet it's hard here, but, you know, you can still do some, you know, learning. And then you can practice with me. Yeah. All I've had are, like I said, D. Martin songs, context clues, and the similarities between Italian and Spanish. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, so like, uh, uh, can you, do you understand, because, like, since Italy was divided into kingdoms for so long, mm -hmm. right? Like, kind of, the dialects are almost like oh, yeah. independent languages, yes. almost, right? So, like, do you have a hard time understanding, you know, Romans or, or Calabrese or Sicilian? Romans, Romans still speak Italian with an accent. It's not a dialect. Ah. Uh, the further down and north you go, like, yeah. I don't, the dialect from Sicily, uh, Sardinia, Calabria, yeah, Puglia, yeah, yeah. and the north, Trentino and all that, all, almost at the border with Austria and Fran those are different languages. I like utterly, don't right? understand. Yeah. I can't. No one. I mean, you don't unless you speak the language. It's a different sure. language. Wow. It's, it's interesting. And, and, and sadly, they're dying because now just the, the, old, you know, the old people speak yeah. the, the dialect oh, right, right. the new generation and their phones and their and all the you know now Italian the new generations of Italians are taking like my niece she's 16 she takes all the words in English and kind of uh, Italianizes. Italianize so to download it becomes downloadare no <laughs> shit <Yeah. laughs> or to tag tagare yeah. They got it. Because when you put the A R E at the end, it's it the two. it's the verb. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Tagare, yeah, downloadare. Um. <laughs> wow. 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 That's amazing. Yeah. 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 So it's not even like textbook Italian or anything. Oh no, anymore. no, no. It's, it's just, just it's, com it's just it's it's the language involving in a brutal, horrible way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Honestly. Tagare. Because, yeah. Some some people are hardcore too, and they won't. They they kind of refuse to if you can't speak. No, but he, uh, her story remind, like, reminds me of like having dinner here in Texas. Yeah. My parents came to visit, and my mom said, let's make lunch for your friends. Mm -hmm. So Greg was there. Oh, Greg, Greg, Greg jo God, Johnson. Oh, God, Jesus. Greg yeah. was there, and some other <laughs> friends, and Paula. And, and uh, so my mother made a ton of food, yeah. like, Mm -hmm. All day long cooking, right. and we're sitting outside on a long, big table. And Greg, who's from Oklahoma, was sitting next to my dad, and you know, it, they weren't communicating. And my dad would speak to him, and uh, finally, Greg says, "I wish your dad, your parents spoke English, Michael." And I'm like. They are. They're speaking. <laughs> <laughs> but because they had that yeah. accent, mm -hmm. they like, yeah. just yeah. couldn't get it. Yeah. That is the thing. And, and the fact that you don't hear Italian accents, present company accept. And, yeah. you know, Shit. around here at all, you know, it's, yeah, it's like a foreign language almost, even yeah. uh, uh, down here. Well, uh, Italian is a foreign language here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a point. Yeah. But Spanish isn't? True. True. You know? Yeah. And, uh, Spanish well, isn't a foreign language? Well, I mean, technically. Depends on which side of the Well, this used to be Mexico, here. too. I yeah. Mean, right. You know. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, Mexican people, in the way that they're is similar, sort of, culturally to Italians, when, when they, the big body of them sort of immigrated and a lot of them were farmers and working and you know kind of doing these kind of odd jobs and stuff like that right uh, uh, a couple of Italian friends of mine that couldn't make it here today uh, have commented that that's sort of the most uh, 
you know, back home vibe they get is from, from Mexican families and stuff. They get together on Sundays. Oh, uh-huh. sure. I mean, it's mm-hmm. nice, yeah. Yeah. The family aspect of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Except the red sauce is way different. Way different. Way, 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 I remember way the first time I like ate a taco with like some salsa. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I was so mad because it was like, wait, this isn't sweet. Does it, you know, there's no yeah. like oregano. It's like, what is this, man? It's like, you know, because I was little, I didn't understand. It's like red sauce is red oh, sauce, man. you know? I still but can't yeah. do cilantro. Cilantro, whatever. On cilantro. cilantro. You can't go we'll like a Texan out of here. I got no respect for the herb. <laughs> it's good for you. I love it. You know. Put it on anything. Was wine a thing in you guys' house? Like uh, it wasn't ours? Every time we had it, wine, it, it tastes totally exactly thing. like the blood of Christ. Oh, really? Like, <laughs> uh, really? Yeah, seriously, right? That's hilarious. That was, that was about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there the was a little bit of wine around, but I don't know. I think the, the guys in the family drank Michelob. I remember that. <laughs> and I was thinking, like, okay, that's an Italian thing. That's a Texas Italian <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michelob beer. And I actually talked to a kid I knew, Ryan Sierna, yeah. up in Dallas. You know, he, he was from Grapevine. Somewhere. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, man, did, did your family drink Michelob too? I said, yeah, <laughs> man, I remember that as a kid. Really? So maybe it's a Texas Italian thing. I don't know. Because that's what we were working that's on. True. You know, like yeah. we had nothing. It's like grass at straws. Yeah. You know? Kind of. I think <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a northern beer kind yeah. of a deal. So I don't know. Yeah. It's, I mean, I could have been imagining things. You know, I saw one bottle of Shiner Bach and Crown Roll. Aside yeah. from the gallons of Shiner Bach and Crown Roll. Crown Royal. Which is Canadian. It has nothing to do with any of this, but that's pretty much what we <laughs> have. like a shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Are meatballs Italian-American oh, no. or are they Italian? Right. They're Italian. We just don't eat it like that. How do you eat it? Well, uh, meatballs are a second dish, so right. they, we don't they eat just, it with, with, with spaghetti. Right. Spaghetti and meatballs is not a, is not a dish. Right on. So meatballs are like an appetizer. No, 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 it's no, a second. Like meat course. It's, it's ah, a meat course. Okay, okay. So okay. Yeah, usually we do the appetizer, the first course, which is pasta. Yeah. And then the second course, which is a meat or a fish with a side and then dessert. Yeah, so in Italy, they, I mean, here we just speed up the whole thing. Yeah, we and eat everything at once. Right. And I wonder how much. That's the, that's the American way, isn't it? Yeah. Well, look, look at a hamburger. I wonder how much of that was everything driven by necessity. Because those people were poor. You know, my great grandparents were fuck poor. Like, poor, poor, poor. And from what I understand, most of the Calabrians at the time were really poor. And it, you know, so maybe they just kind of crammed the whole meal into uh, into a thing. You, know? you guys twirl your spaghetti? Squirrel? Yeah. You know, oh, I mean, like around a fork with a spoon and shit? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I do. I use a spoon, but like the whole the thing. Like, I can't even not do it. Well, how I, is he going to eat it? can't do it. Uh, I twirl it. Do it all the time. I was taught when I was young. I twirl it with a fork, have the spoon underneath it. Sit yeah, there yeah. And swirl it up like that. I have to do it much more now that I'm older and have a beard, and that's why I have to carry a <laughs> damn bib everywhere I go. <laughs> what else are you going to do? This? Yeah. I, well, you know. sometimes, well, yeah. Well, sometimes people cut <laughs> that. Cut, yeah. cut it up and stuff. Mm-hmm. You don't cut yeah, it break up. Break it before you cook no. it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 No. 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 You kidding me? No. No. Yeah. My mom will come swimming from Italy <laughs> <laughs> to slam me. That's funny. Mm. Yeah, we may not have much Italian culture, but at least we know uh, yeah, that much. Well, I still got respect for food, you know? <laughs> Since I've been out here seeing other Italian people and hearing other Italian people, I saw you uh, at work one day and, you know, and I heard your accent and it was like, <gasps> you know, whoa. Mm-hmm. You know, another one, a real one. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I mean, it's a real thing. It's a real like. Uh, oh, it hits me. It hits me something fierce. It's the, the Italian culture is, you know, maybe the only thing in America that's on par with Texan culture, as far as like a just a cliched uh, stereotype, kind of a just a thing, you know. You can, you can go anywhere and, you know, people people have a thing in their mind already of what it is to be Italian, what it is to be a Texan. Since it's such a strong culture, you know, at what point do we that live in Texas now and forever, you mm-hmm. know, like, uh, cease to be the one thing and become the other thing? Or is it, you know... Well, it's, it's funny because it's America, like... Yeah, right. You know, uh, like I said earlier, like, Papa was the Italian one. I think Grana had some Italian in her, but Native American. The other side, when I say white, I mean, it was, you know, there's English, Irish, Scottish, 
stuff like that, and some native in there as well. But then <clears throat> when you try and, you know, it is important to, it's important to be proud to be an American, yes, but it is important to be proud of your culture and where you come from. But then when you start diving in, there's so much shit to learn from each different one, you know, and how do you claim, like, yeah. fun. <laughs> but, uh, how do you, you know, what do you claim when you just like, you, obviously you live here in America, so you say, yeah, I'm American, yeah, but what else? It's like, what do you say next? This has always been a melting pot, and yeah. the pot is really melting. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, the, the substance of this country is just... Yeah, like a fondue. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just the way the world is going. And, and it's good to recognize, I think, to recognize where you came from yeah. and who you are in, in the context of what's going on around you so quick, fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice that barriers and boundaries are eroding, but yeah, I mean, you're homesick for a place that you're not even from. Right. You know? Right. But it's right. good to, to hold on to those traditions, too. I mean, I mean, I think we're all gonna, you know, like you said, we're gonna progress towards this mm -hmm. homogeny, and it's it's good because it's ex inclusionary, you yes. know, inclusive, inclusive, inclusive yeah. you know? So we're not thinking of borders just like, Foods and traditions, and you know, we just keep all the fun stuff. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick and choose. You know. I think in my case, because you know, everyone is Italian, and I'm the only one here. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I, I can't relate to what you, mm -hmm. really you guys are saying well, because you know, for you, I think <clears throat> it's more like finding out about your origins. Yeah. Um, I, for me, it's pretty clear what my origins yeah. are, but yeah. I still. I still want to know more about who my grandparents were and my great grandparents were as a way to know myself better. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, kind of what happens to you guys. It, it's still, it's part of you. It's part of, of, of the heritage. It's part mm -hmm. of the way you were raised. So it's it, at the end of the day, it's it's a way to know ourselves better. Yeah. I think to to keep the, you know, to keep knowing more and more about our origins. Sure. Yeah, and since it's so far away to right. us yeah. it's like harder to find that connection yeah that makes sense right well if you know where you that came from sense. it's a little bit easier to figure out where you're going uh salute everybody salute. Salute. cheers in <laughs> Italy, you see you have to you have to look someone in the eye otherwise it's seven oh, years yeah, yeah. of no sex oh, yeah. Yeah. seven years without sex oh that sounds terrible wow. cheers that's so they say. salute salute, salute. salute. Drink. Yeah. Oh. yeah my old lady is pretty adamant about that she'll be like Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nina, man. Nina, like, yeah. No. Right. Eye contact, eye contact. Oh, shit. Hey, guys, I gotta go. I'm late for work. Uh, uh, Green Hall, as a matter of fact. Oh. All right, So, uh, you know, thanks for hanging out. I can't wait to do this again. Yeah. You guys take it easy. Thanks for inviting us. Oh, have a good one. I love you guys. See you. Bye. I'm not done eating yet. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao, bello. Ciao, bello. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Laters. <laughs>